Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Trades, back with another weekly video. As usual, we'll start off with the indices, start off with SPY and QQQ. Um, so let's take a look at SPY's weekly chart. Um, overall, SPY looks really, really good, right? Um, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> so we had five green um, weeks in a row. And then this week, we finally got some consolidation. A little bit of a pullback but not too much um, so on Tuesday we did have a pretty nasty gap down but on Wednesday and Thursday um, we pretty much covered uh, and we got that gap though and on Friday we're pretty much setting up for a consolidation bar so over overall um, I would say SPY looks pretty healthy nothing to be too concerned about um, one thing I will say is that this could potentially be uh, a lower high so here was the high and then this is the lower high but that has to be confirmed if we like continue moving lower so overall the trend is still intact and very very strong uptrend um, and yeah this this is how I would draw the trend line and until we break this trend line I would still say we are very very, very bullish overall um, but yeah we did have a pretty big move right we went from 410 to 5 503 so really really big move in a short period of time so there is a chance that um, we could just consolidate and chop around for a while so that is something to definitely take a note of um, as you know we are getting a little extended so some sideways action would be healthy for sure now let's take a look at QQQ um, so QQQ same thing definitely a really big move from 343 to 439 um, so yeah, really big move, right? So definitely some consolidation here would be healthy. And also QQQ looks like it's closer to the trend line. So yeah, if it breaks that 428 level or 429 level, I think there's a very good chance that QQQ can come back a lot more. And uh, I would say the next support level, right? Yeah, I would say support level or key support level is at 412. But if we do break this, um, next target would probably be around that 423 level or some <clears throat> support over here but yeah um but yeah that's how i see qqq overall qqq also very very strong since it's still holding up that trend line right um and uh, yeah it had five green weeks in a row and this week is just, it just put in a consolidation bar so overall it still looks really really healthy um but i think we should expect some slowdown because we did have such a big move right so expecting some sideways action or uh, more of a pullback but overall very still very bullish on the indices and the markets in general let's take a look at IWM as well so IW, IWM actually looks a lot better um, so it actually just started to break out again so we did take out the 199 level back in December and then we ended up uh, pulling back in and then uh, the last two months ish we pretty much just consolidated tightened up and then over here we finally broke out but yeah uh, IWM looks really really good if we can take out that 203.5 level on Friday it did put an inside bar so if it takes that out this could be a really good long setup um, but yeah I think there's a very good chance that we're going to see more rotation into the small cap so um, that's where I would be paying attention but overall IWM looks really really good um, and yeah, the run really hasn't started yet for IWM, so this has a lot of potential as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the indices. We'll also take a look at ARKK, see how growth stocks are doing. Um, so it looks like ARKK rejected that 51 level once again, and the ARKK has been building a pretty long base here. So um, if we can get through that 51.2 level, there's a very good chance that we could rally and uh, we can make a powerful rally because we've been consolidating here for so long, right? So if ARKK does break out, then I would not be surprised to <clears throat> make a move, a big, a big move in a short period of time. So I think ARKK can easily double if it can actually successfully break out. But uh, yeah, now let's take a look at big cap tech stocks. Start off with Apple. So Apple actually looks <clears throat> pretty weak here. Um, Ever since earnings, um, it had a nice bounce off the initial reaction to earnings, and then it pretty much died out after that. So there's a downtrend forming here. 
and until we can break that down trend i would say definitely bearish on apple or at least avoid it avoid it for the long side right so but yeah if we lose that 180 level apple is definitely a short play um so take a look at the weekly chart yeah apple did make a nice run and the pullback and then made another nice high or it made a new high again here just slightly and uh, now it's just chopping again so um yeah now 180 level is definitely a key level so if we lose that then that would be bearish AMD, AMD looks really good on the weekly chart. It's just consolidating. Um, yeah, not much to say else for AMD. It's just consolidating tightly. Uh, yeah, uh, if it does break that 180 level, then that's where you would look to go long. And then if it breaks that 164 level, that's where you would want to go short. Next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google looks like it's back in chop, right? Um, it lost that 144 level again, so that's not good, but uh, it looks like it's back in chop between that 144 and 139 level, so we'll see what happens, but overall Google looks fine, it's just chopping around. Um, next up, let's take a look at Meta. So Meta looks really good here. Had a big earnings gap up, and uh, it's, just, it's just been consolidating ever since, so... Overall, good action. It's just going sideways since it had such a big earnings gap up, right? So, overall, really good action on Meta as well. Microsoft looks like it wants to pull back here. Microsoft actually looks like a bit short. It loses that 4 or 3.5 level. Um, so, yeah, Microsoft could be a short here. And you could try to short it all the way down to 376. Because, um, yeah, there's no other real support level here. Um, Netflix. So, Netflix had a very nice breakout. <clears throat> again this week yeah it looks really good it formed the bull flag and then it took out the flag this week so netflix overall looks really really bullish one of the strongest big cap names right now um or this week and video probably the strongest big cap of 2024 so far um insane rally right hasn't consolidated at all it just consolidated here one side at least for a little bit and then broke out again and it looks like it's starting to consolidate a little bit more again it does have earnings coming up so do watch out for that but overall nvidia looks really really healthy and last but not least let's take a look at tesla so tesla looks like it's finally going for that gap fill so really good uh this was a good buy setup when it took out the 193 level here on this day on thursday and uh, yeah, it looks like it wants to hit that 207 level. Overall, Tesla looks really good, um, short term at least. Long term, it looks like it's still just stuck in this big downtrend, right? So until Tesla takes that downtrend level out, um, it's still not the best play. But yeah. All right, now let's take a look at some individual names. We'll take a look at APP first. This one had a really nice breakout on the weekly chart. Um, had a nice earnings gap up um, and yeah it's been acting well ever since so this one's definitely one that you want to keep your eye on uh, ARM this one I think everyone knows the stock now but yeah this one's consolidating very very tightly um, and if it breaks that 136 level then it could be a buy and if it breaks 122 then it can be a short but this one's setting up really really nice this one can also have a monster run like SMCI did so this one's definitely one that you want to watch closely. Cart, this is a new IPO name, Instacart. Uh, this one's been forming a nice base ever since it IPO'd, pretty much. And if it takes out that 28 level, this one looks like a good long setup. Coinbase, this one had really nice earnings but got sold into. Uh, and there's a good chance that it's getting got, yeah, it made 120 to 199. 120 to 193 so a really big move in a short period of time so there's a very good chance that it's going to pull back here and consolidate a little bit more um, LOY LOY is just insanely strong the stock has been trending up really really nicely um, for like the last few years um, but yeah LOY looks really really good still um, had a nice breakout on Friday broke out on Wednesday as well and then from the little flag setup and then broke out again on Friday. This one's a top watch. Uh, Lyft, 
this one also had a really really strong earnings reaction huge volume on the weekly looks really really good on the weekly um, and it looks like it wants to break out of this base so that looks good but yeah this one looks really really good because of that weekly volume um, so this one's definitely top watch as well next up let's take a look at net so net had a powerful earnings gap up as well but this one's starting to uh, fail here so this one looks like a good short if it breaks that 97 level and it can be a short play for a gap fill so target would be around that 90 level uh, nxt this one also had a very strong earnings gap up and ever since then um, it did form a nice setup here and then it was buyable over here and now it's starting to form another little flag here so nxt is definitely another one that you want to keep your eye on pound here another earnings gap up this one had a huge move three strong days up in a row and now it's starting to consolidate so this one um <clears throat> yeah you want to you want to watch it if it can if it can break 25.5 then you want to um try going long otherwise just let it consolidate and then form some sort of flag so this one's another top watch for sure um and uber uber had another strong gap up on wednesday this week and now it's starting to form a flag um uber has been such a strong stock 2023 and 2024 so far um, so this one i'm just waiting for it to <clears throat> form some sort of flag right now it's a little bit too extended but if this one can go sideways then this is definitely a good setup to watch out for and snci um this is everyone's favorite stock lately but this one had an insane run from the weekly breakout on the 348 level 350 ish so it's consolidating really nice and then it had a huge breakout right and it pretty much dribbled in a short period of time um, but this one looks like a blow off top it topped out on friday um, had a really good short setup actually on the five minute you could have taken out or you could have short of this when it broke its opening range close so over here on this candle when it broke uh, this candle slows that's a good setup and then there's also a really really good setup um, over here where it formed the bear flag basically big move down and then flagged and then this was a really good really good short setup um, but yeah SMCI um, was a really good short opportunity on Friday and I think there's a very good chance that the stock um, continues to go lower because yeah, when when you see a blow off top like this very good chance that uh, the stock can pull back a lot a lot more um, yeah that's all I have for this week thank you guys for tuning in there's a reason why xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas with over 2.5 million dollars paid in the last two years to contributors users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time if you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today completely free of charge